everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. And to be honest with you, we sh probably should have called it AEW Action Figure Surgery because you guys can see, for the most part, every single person right here is an AEW figure except for that Neville right there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that Neville right there is the only WWE figure feature. Well, I guess technically that is a WWE figure with the Luchasaurus, but it is a custom that I made that I don't know if we're going to do anything here today, but I did want to showcase it, so I went ahead plugged in in the video. There is some paint that it needs. I just don't know if I want to do it right now because I think it's going to be some pretty intricate stuff but shut the hell up Brad. Let's go ahead and dive into it guys. You guys can see it. We got Mox. We got MJF. Kenny Omega. Adam Hangman Page. The Young Bucks. Pac over there. We got a lot of stuff to get through today and I think it's going to be probably one of the most epic surgery videos ever because today we're going to be customizing our AEW figures, getting them fixed up, doing some different things with them and I'm very excited to get into it guys. You guys know how these things work. We are going to start off with the guy guy on the stretcher and the guy on the stretcher is going to be Mox. Now Mox right here or John Moxley is the figure that we're going to talk about first and this guy is too tall man. I mean it's just a it's just a thing. He's just too tall and my boy Steinsenberg Customs pointed out to me how to fix it. So I'm going to do that here today and I'm going to do my best to show you guys how to do it and he is going to be included right here. I'm going to grab a figure for reference that way I don't make him too short or something. I need to have a figure that I need to reference back to so let's go ahead and knock that out. All right so I grab his WWE Elite Network Spotlight figure, and I think this is a pretty good comparison right here. So we need to lower his height to the height of this Dean Ambrose right here. So we need to make this mocks the height of the Dean Ambrose, so that gives me about it looks like half an inch or so off of the height right there. So we're going to probably take a half an inch off of the bottom of the caps down here, fix his height. Hopefully we can do so and we don't run into any crazy tr you know trouble or anything, and I don't have to do some crazy ass fig hack to fix it or anything. So let's move on, guys. Next up, we have Pac in the house. So this is our Pac figure, and I've seen a lot of people doing this fix-up where they pop the head off and they put on a Mattel head sculpt. So the head sculpts that I've seen people use, I've seen them use this basic head sculpt. I've also seen them use his first head sculpt, which would not recommend. Uh, it doesn't have a beard, first of all, and it's like smiling. But I figured we could try all three of them because I think the peg like will allow it to go on and off because it's a smaller peg than what Mattel uses. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the Elite 55 five head sculpt on there. So uh, we're going to use this beautiful Neville figure over here. It was his, you know, his last figure before he got released or before he left WWE. And so we're going to put this head sculpt over on this body, see what it looks like and everything like that. I've seen a couple people do it. It looks pretty damn good. We're going to find out here today, guys. We're going to switch out that head sculpt and see what that's all about. So that is our other business that we're going to be taking care of here today. Now moving on forward, guys, we do have Adam Hangman Page. Now Adam Hangman Page, if you guys did not know, if you guys don't own this figure, this this mofo has clown feet. I mean, look at how damn big those feet are, Brad. I want to get a, a, like, zoom out shot because, like, you can't really tell, I guess, at certain angles. But, I mean, I think you can tell from this angle. Look how big those are, bro. Like, that's outrageous. We're going to fix that here today, Brad. I have these, uh, I guess, Cody Rhodes style or Drew McIntyre style or, or Heath Slater style boots right here. And we're going to pop the feet off of this and see if we can put them onto this Adam Hangman page. I've seen people put Mattel elite boot feet onto the Adam Hangman page to fix it. And I also saw my boy Steinsenberg Customs. He put the ringset exclusive Bray Wyatt feet on there. So if those don't fit, I know these will. And I think these look pretty damn cool too. And they have like the studs on the front. And I think that'll look good with the attire because it has studs on the belt over there. So that's our other form of business. We got to switch out the feet, get rid of the clown shoes on the Adam Hangman page. And you know what's crazy to me? I know this is a random fact, but Adam Hangman page is six foot tall. Would you have ever thought that? I thought the man was like six foot three, six, four. You learn something new every single day, Brad. Next up, we have MJF and Kenny Omega right here. So this MJF, you're probably wondering what we're going to be doing to him here. And what we're going to be doing, Brad, is we're going to be popping this head sculpt off of this MJF. We're going to be taking our Kenny Omega and we're going to torso swap these guys, giving this Kenny this better skin tone. I think this I think this torso is going to work perfect for Kenny. I honestly feel like this is probably a little bit too shredded for Kenny. It's not going to bother me if they use it going forward. I still won't mind it, but I think this is probably a little bit more realistic style. Uh, the skin tone looks way better, and we're going to put this torso over here, put this head sculpt onto this torso, and then paint this head sculpt to match this skin tone, and we're going to acetone all these tattoos off. So his tattoos on his ribs, his tattoo right there on the uh, upper arm, and everything like that. going to pop that off, switch that around, and get an updated skin tone. Kenny Omega in the pink gear, and I'll probably use that on Vindication moving forward instead of the like hybrid elite AEW 
AEW and rival figure that we've been using. So we will be doing that. We got to paint a whole face here today. And we're not just going to be painting one face. Hell no. We're painting two faces, Brad. Because I want to take this Matt Jackson with the, uh, the ugly screaming head sculpt. I don't like this head sculpt whatsoever. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. I don't like it. So we're, we're going to switch that out with his first figure right here. And you guys know that this likeness right here on Matt Jackson with the ponytail is really damn good. I'm actually just noticing that he's actually kind of taller than him too. Look at that right there. It's not massive, but he's still a little bit taller. We're going to switch out this head sculpt over here and we're going to be painting this head sculpt to match this skin tone. So we got two heads we're going to paint here today. Hopefully they... I don't even know what I was saying. My camera just kind of died. It just like died out of nowhere and so I had to charge it. Now here, here I am again. I'm back again now, but what I was saying was head, head, head paint this. Going to be the second head paint we're doing next to Kenny Omega. Going to torso swap it. Make it look really good and updated skin tone. Well, no, we're not we're not torso swapping this. Just head swap because I want I want this attire, not this attire. I do want to track down more bucks series one and three so I can completely swap both so that my series one will have that same nice skin tone. But I don't know if I like this head sculpt enough. I may have to wait on other bucks, but I definitely like this head sculpt more for Matt. It looks better. Uh, I like the expression. I just, yeah. I, yeah. And then we'll, we'll compare to Nick back here, who's back here. And uh, we'll have two bucks in the updated skin, nice head sculpts and everything like that. Hopefully that turns out great and I don't do anything to F it all up. And then last but not least, guys, we do have a Luchasaurus back here. Now, I don't, I don't really have anything to say about this. It's just my updated Luchasaurus that will be on MDT Live with Jungle Boy. I do have to finish painting this and I have to finish painting the gauntlets I was painting up. I'm kind of going with like a fantasy attire, like black. Black, gold, white, and green. Just kind of playing with some stuff and stuff like that. I honestly need to add some tattoo right there on the elbow. And then there was another spot, I think, somewhere in there. I, I don't know, but there you go. Updated Luchasaurus. Figured I could showcase it and everything like that. But let's shut the hell up and dive into our first deal of surgery and get this hoe going. And let me know what you think of the Luchasaurus. So the first work of business, guys, I guess we can start off with Kenny Omega. I'm not going to paint until the very end. I think that's probably the best thing to do. So we can knock out all the painting at once in one big compilation or something like that. But I think the first thing to do is going to be switching these torsos and then acetoning off the tattoos. We also want to go ahead and remove this elbow pad because I have no interest in this Kenny Omega having this elbow pad on here. Maybe one day down the line we'll add the elbow pad or something, but I don't think that the Kenny is going to need it at this juncture. So we're going to remove this elbow pad. I'll put it in some AEW accessory bag or something, and there you go. So he's going to have the left mic holding hand there, and then he has the regular mic holding hand. I'd like him to have like two different, well, they're both mic holding hands in different ways, but so let's go ahead and conduct this torso swap. You guys know how we do. It's literally just a twist and pap and then a twist and pap. And then we go over here and we do the same thing over here. Plug that in. You guys can kind of see what we got going on already. Obviously, we won't know exactly what it looks like to the end, but let's just go ahead and pop off the MJF head sculpt. We'll pop off the Kenny. I'm not going to put this Kenny torso onto the MJF because that would probably be stupid. Don't think it would look good. Skin tones don't match and all that, but I do have an extra MJF head now for, you know, uh, putting it on a suited body or something. Maybe we can make an MJF promo gear or something like that. But here's the Kenny head on this torso. And we pop that on there. And let's go ahead and raise the camera up because I want you guys to see what he looks like standing. So there's the Kenny Omega with the MJF torso. I think it looks great. I actually like it, especially once we get these tattoos off of here, which I'm about to do right now. But instead of leaving the Kenny Omega head sculpt on this torso when we actually do it, I'm going to put it on my crazy, like, alien Cody over here that uh, you guys know we kind of experiment with customs and stuff. So I'm going to take this, pop this head sculpt off. And then when we paint the Kenny, I will put it on this body that will have something to hold on to while I paint it. And that way, you know, yeah, you get the idea. I'm also probably going to add the blonde streak to the hair because I really want the blonde streak on the Kenny head sculpt. So I'll probably add the blonde streak while we paint this, but we won't do that until later. I'm going to save this for later when we paint the other head sculpt on Matt Jackson and whatnot. But here is the Kenny Omega figure headless. And now we're going to acetone off this BS over here. So let's go ahead and get our acetone and we're going to acetone off this tattoo and that tattoo. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so there we go. Lion tattoo gone on the arm as well as on the ribs right there. Now we are one step closer to our Kenny Omega being updated and fixed like that. Got to fix the ankle joints there, but we'll come back to Kenny at the end when we update the head sculpt and paint that up, and then we will also paint the Matt and Nick Jackson, or no, not the Nick Jackson, but the Matt Jackson. We will paint those up at the end there, and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that, what paints to use, all that good stuff. But moving forward, guys, next up, I guess we can go ahead and get into the Pac figure, and and the thing that's cool about the AEW figures, I actually saw somebody, what they did was they actually like removed the uh, the Neville hair and they put the Pac hair onto the Neville head sculpt, like put this hair over on this head and it looked freaking phenomenal. It looked great. It was pretty damn sweet, but you guys know all you gotta do is pop the head off there for the AEW figures. We do not have to heat them up or anything. So I guess what we'll do now is go ahead and heat this up and plop that over on the AEW figure and see what that head swap looks like. And I guess while we're at it, we might as well go ahead and heat up the Adam Hangman Page boots and switch the feet out simply because, you know, it's kind of, you know, I, I think that'll be something easy to, you know, to knock out all together there. So there's that. And then these boots right here. Hopefully all this heats up at the same time and we get enough quality football heat on there. Got the trusty knife back here for the Moxley. Gonna get him out of the way. Can't be, you know, taking out the trusty knife there, but there's that, that. All right, let's roll with it. And there is that, so we got that. Now let's go ahead and plop off these from the... Oh, that's very interesting. Never seen that before with these. Uh, so they're like pegs. That's weird. Never seen that before. I don't even know if this is going to work, Brad. Like, I don't... What the hell? I mean, I guess technically you can just plop them on like that, but I don't know if I like that. May have to use the Bray Wyatt ones because they don't like hug in there good, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what... I, I don't... I don't get it. All right, we'll, we'll do something different, but look out, dude. Look at this. Look at the size difference in this. Ridiculous. All right, so we'll we'll try the Bray Wyatt feet. I'll heat those up off camera or something, but we did heat up the Neville head sculpt, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this going. So there's that, and then you're supposedly supposed to just be able to plop this in here. Well, you can. You can just plop that in there. And there you go. Look at that. Hell yeah, Brad. I like that a lot better, honestly. Um, and I actually, maybe not today, but I may do that hair swap, bro. Because when I tell you it looked damn good, it looked really good. Like, plopping this hair piece over here is something that I'm seriously going to consider. But I like it. I think I, I think I do like that. I think I'll accept that for now. We'll see what comes of that. I think if I put my, my custom, you know, from over there, but if I heat it up, the beard will fall off. I don't know if you guys remember when the beard fell off on my other Neville head sculpt from BEW. And then we had to, like, glue it back in place and then if I heat it up again it's just gonna fall off again and then I risk ruining it and also this doesn't have boot rotation which really bothers me so I may just leave it like this and I, I don't know F it. Pox done. Take a closer look at that at the end but now I don't <sighs> alright I'm gonna heat up I'm gonna heat up these Bray Wyatt boots and see what's up with that and then if I can't figure it out I'll have to message my boy Steinsenberg and find out uh, what the hell he did to make that work. Alright guys so we did our uh, we did our Adam Hangman Man page boot swap. We did our Pac head swap. Uh, I'm still waiting on my boy to message me back and make sure I did that correctly. We'll see again how it looks once it's cooled off. But now we're moving forward into some dangerous water, Brad. We're going into the old, uh, you know what I'm saying. We're about to cut up John Football Moxley. Now, he told me the best thing to do first would be to uh, remove the boots and then, um, I don't know, let's just, uh, he said step one, remove the boots. So let's go ahead and remove these boots and then we will proceed with the actions that we got to take to get this thing the right height. Alright guys, this should be good enough for the boots to pop off, so there we go. Alright, the next thing that I heard was to cut the pegs off. Now, I gotta be real with you, that's kind of scary, Brad. I honestly do not want to cut these pegs off, but uh, yeah, I think we gotta do it, man. I think we gotta cut this off. We gotta cut these pegs off. And I think uh, I'm gonna have to cut the, uh, I'm gonna have to use the trusty knife here to cut these off, but the only thing is, is I wanna see how far these go in. All right, so, Christ, this is freaking terrifying. Anyways, I actually have an idea here. I think what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you guys can see this, 
We're talking about real surgery right here, Brad. You see where this little lip is right here? I don't want to just cut the peg off. I want to cut like this whole platform deal off right here. So what I may do is go ahead and Dremel around right here so that I can isolate this piece right here chop that off and do the same thing on the other side and then uh, we will proceed to cut off the rest of this and see what height we need to get and then we will proceed to come back and glue that platform deal back to it. That way the boots will go back on. We'll just have to wait for the super glue to dry off that good ish. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab my Dremel, I guess. Alright guys, I heated that up for an ass of a long time, even if you guys didn't even notice that I did, but uh, let's go ahead and line these up because I gotta hack these off at the exact same point so that we don't have a damn, you know what I'm saying, uh, a crazy situation going on here, but I'm gonna line this up the best that I possibly can, and ooh, yeah, I think this right here should be good right there. Damn, that didn't cut like I thought it would. Dude, that is some thick-ass plastic, Jesus Christ. Holy cow, bro. That's insane. May have to get a longer knife. I recommend gloves if you're gonna do this, for sure. Damn, bro, that didn't even cut. Christ. All right, guys, I, again, I don't remember where the last segment was. I had to take a break for a second, but we're back, and I wanna give a huge shout-out to my man Harrison because he also helped me out. He said to cut it right below this pocket. So if that were the case, it'd be like right here. And so he also said that it has to be like super heated up. So I guess I'm gonna have to leave this bish on the heat for like a year and a half. And I guess I'll see you guys on the other side and we'll try to cut this bish in half. I think the trusty knife is good enough to chop it in half. I just, I, I gotta heat it up for long enough, you know? And that's the only deal. Should I, I, I just don't know, should I cut the legs and then cut the pegs off? Or should I cut the pegs off and then cut the legs off? I don't effing know, man. Jeez, a bleez, a wheeze, a poos. All right, guys, that was a pretty ass of a long time, so if it doesn't cut right here, then I don't know what the hell to say, Brad, but, uh, we're gonna go in right under these pockets like they said, and we're gonna, oh my God in heaven, probably the hottest a figure's ever been in action figure surgery history. I'm gonna go right here. Jesus Christ. Like I'm not sure if I should saw it or should just push through like butter, but the shit's just not going through. I may have to boil it. And if, if I have to boil it, then I, I, I Damn, Brad. That's insane. Maybe if I do one leg at a time. Ugh. Ah. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so in conclusion, I had to go to the kitchen. I did the torso crack method where you, you know, you fill up a cup of water and then you heat it up for five minutes in the microwave, it becomes boiling, and then I stuck the legs like this down in there for maybe three minutes or so, pulled it out, I pushed them evenly together, and then I cut with my knife right up under, and then when I got a good seam in there, I took it one by one and went all the way through, turned it to the side, went all the way through to get it clean all the way around. This is what it looks like right now, but I'm a dumbass, and I, I left the pegs attached to the lower legs when I cut them off, and I accidentally split one of them, and I don't know how the hell this is going to turn out now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to glue these back on to these little, like this one turned out way better. You guys can see here, it's all attached and stuff, and you know, you just, you know, you clasp it there, and we're we're gonna super glue that there and then we're gonna super glue this one over here and then plop the boots back on so I'm using this XL super glue I don't know how well it's gonna turn out I really effed it up right here so I'm pretty scared I guess if it if shit hits the fan I'll probably end up using a Mattel peg or something and then trying to make it into this shape and then glue that on there or something I don't freaking know man but we're, we're gonna attempt to see how this goes and uh, yeah let's just shut the hell up and see what we can get going
All right, guys, I got it. I don't know how well this is going to work out, but I'm going to let that dry while we work on the rest of the surgery stuff. So, you know, like the Matt Jackson, the Kenny Omega head sculpts that we're about to paint. Hopefully this turns out all right. You know, I really don't want to do this for all of my Moxley's. Like, Jesus, I'm sure I'll get better at it, you know, the second or third time that I attempt it. But I guess we're going to move on, guys. That, was, uh, that wasn't fun. I'm going to be honest with you. That was kind of challenging. And I definitely recommend having somebody older help you if you're kind of younger or you want to attempt this or try to make your John Moxley shorter or the accurate height but i don't know man we'll see how that goes after that dries let that dry for a little bit while i paint up the kenny omega and the matt jackson cue the time lapse we're going to paint up these head sculpts see what they look like seal them up and then uh, put them over on their new bodies and then take a look at everything we've done here today on wwe action figure surgery and of course uh, i'll attach the boots to this and you guys can see what's going on hopefully it stays after all the drying process Here's everything we did on WWE Action Figure Surgery or AEW Surgery like we called it at the beginning. As you guys can see, everything is lined up. I'm pretty happy with everything outside of maybe one or two things. One thing that was seriously super difficult to do is match these skin tones, you know, because Kislev right here, this Kislev is usually like really good for uh, like if you mix these two, you can usually mix any and make any WWE Action Figure skin tone, but I had a really difficult time. Like I don't even think, like this one right here specifically, the Young Bucks one is super difficult. The MJF one isn't as bad. I feel like if you mix these two, you can get this skin tone, as you guys can see with the Kenny Omega. Really, really happy with the way Kenny turned out. Dude, look at that. MJF torso. This is the repainted Kenny head sculpt. I'm really proud of the way this one came out. I think the head sculpt looks pretty damn good and everything. Everything going on with it. Look at that right there. The hair looks good. I like the the eyes and everything. I really think the skin tone fixes the likeness a lot, and this, this skin tone on this body looks outstanding. I can't wait for AEW Series number 4 to come out. Even though the face is kind of grimacing or yelling or whatever, I'm still really, really psyched with the way the Kenny Omega turned out with that MJF torso on there. That is probably my favorite thing we did here today. The John Moxley height, I think it is fixed. I think that, you know, everything works out. I have a couple other Moxleys in AEW Series number 2. It was by accident, actually, that I got more than just the one. Uh, so that is uh, something to take note of. But uh, you know, if I don't like this one, I can always redo that challenge, see if I can get it fixed or whatever. But here is the Dean Ambrose up next to the John Moxley, and they're pretty damn close, Brad. I, th I mean, I think that's good enough. I'm not going to lose sleep over that. I think that the boot doesn't go all the way on on this side over here, but that's my fault. I don't think once, like, the, 
the boots are still kind of uh, kind of loose from the the heat. Once they solidify a little bit more after being cooled off, I think they'll be a lot better. And I still think I can fed with it and stuff like that and post this guy around. I don't think we're gonna have any football trouble right there. I think that the John Moxley turned out okay. The only thing I really don't like about today's episode is the Matt Jackson. It just I don't know like the skin tone just doesn't match well on camera. You can't really tell as much. I don't know how well you could tell in a pick fed scenario or something, but I think it would, uh, I think it still looks good. I like this head sculpt much better than the other one, so you guys can let me know what you think about that one down in the comment section below, but the Young Bucks, uh, this is how they will look on Vindication. I just like the, this, this attire is better. It matches Vindication. It matches the tag titles. It's just a lot better. I like these a lot better. Adam Hangman Page, guys, I just put those Bray White RSC boots on there, and they're a little bit, you know, they're, they're definitely, they kind of wobble a little, but they're still much better than the clown feet, man. They're just, they're way better than the clown feet. I still think that you can pose them around and pick fed with them and stuff like that. So Adam Hangman Page is still looking pretty damn good. And last but not least, we do have the Pac fix up with the Elite 55 Neville head sculpt on it. And uh, I like it. I think it looks great. I, overall, I still, I want to do the hair swap that I told you guys about. I think you guys really like that. I, like, it looks really damn good. So uh, that'll be something that we look forward to in the future. And last but not least, like we took a look at it a second ago, it is the Kenny Omega with the updated MJF torso and the updated head sculpt paint. I hate that I couldn't get more of the paint in there, but like I've said many times on surgery, it is very, very hard to get like little details and like different like beards and painting head sculpts and stuff like that. It's really difficult when you're trying to get that in, especially when you know the, the like you gotta put the camera at a certain angle. If I had one strapped to my forehead or something and then I could lean over and just do my thing, I think that would be a lot easier. But that is pretty much gonna do it for action figure surgery. I've looked into getting more cameras and stuff like that, but just haven't had any look at the at the moment with you know tracking one of those down. But before we get out of here, guys, let's go ahead and get into our random shout out for the day. And this random shout out is gonna go to Joshua, who says, "Oh yeah, that Omega is definitely going to be mine." I like that. I thought that was great because I agree with him. You know, I, I definitely want to claim that as mine. I want to get that Kenny Omega in here to go with the Co Kenny Omega collection. You know, switch out that torso with the Series One like we did here today on action figure surgery. Not only that, but also do the uh, do other fix ups and things of that nature and everything like that. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic once we get AEW Series 4 in there. I think it says pre-order for April. I don't think it'll take that long, guys. I think it'll be much sooner than that, but I feel like we've been here forever. I don't know how the hell long this episode's going to be, but I hope you guys stuck around to the end. If you guys did, I really, really appreciate it. Shout out to Joshua for the comment. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. You crossed the line.